very much. Um, we're all friends in this room, and this has been a, a very cordial discussion, which is nice. It's been very respectful. Um, but I want to hit on a point that Representative Piscopo made, and it's a point about the process. Yeah. The, sale, the, the tax increases in this budget, particularly those sales tax increases, we're looking at today, and at no point in time did the folks impacted by these tax increases have an opportunity to tell us what they thought about these tax increases. This was generated in a bubble. And while we've been respectful of one another here today, this is not at all respectful of the individuals impacted by what's in the document. And you know, to, to Representative Candelora's point from much earlier on in the discussion, the last time we talked about most, if not all, of these sales tax increases, the, the concept of them was so bad that they didn't even make it out of committee. So the last time we heard from the public, we decided this was so horrendous it couldn't make it out of this committee, yet here we are having not heard from them at all since, and all of a sudden these are great ideas. So again, while we've generally been pretty respectful of one another here, this document has not been respectful of those it impacts most. Uh, and I would simply ask that going forward in that, this month that we have ahead of us, now that the folks impacted by this have the opportunity to read it and digest it and understand how it's going to impact them, that we give them an opportunity to speak to us, that we give them an opportunity to be heard, because as of yet, they have not. Um, I will certainly not be supporting this today, but I do hope that the folks impacted by this will have an opportunity to be heard. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.